Hello guys, uh, welcome back to part 2 of uh, Sense Innovations uh, EWS1 Plus sound module. Okay, I want to talk about the um, software now and um, a few things about it now to use it. Okay, the first thing you need to do is obviously you go to the website and I'll, I'll put a link in the description um, on, on, the, on the video. So what you do, you go to the website, you, you know, you, you load it up, um, you need to register. Uh, put a username and a password in doesn't cost you anything uh, obviously then uh, you download this software to your computer and then you can use it so if you look here on the side where I'm moving the cursor about it says no device that's because obviously the sound module is not attached yet so I'm going to do that now so basically all you do you get your, um, your sound module uh, with your little dongle on the end of it you plug that into USB You know, there's no need to power this from an external battery, it just goes off to five volt. So I'll just plug that in now. And what you'll what you'll what you'll see is this where it says no device. You'll see it should recognise my module. We'll try that now. Plug it in USB. So it's connecting. Okay, it's recognised it, and you get a screen up. So what you've got here, um, like I said, the sound module only takes two sound files. Um, so you've got this one here, which is the standard one, which comes with the sound module when you buy it. This one here, I've downloaded it. Um, you can download a lot more, but we'll go into that. Um, if you click, which is JSA2001, which is my um, YouTube channel, you can actually change the name of your, um, of your sound module. When you, when you get it, it comes with a totally different name than what, what I've put in there. Obviously, that's mine. All you need to do is click on that icon there. Just click your name and save it. And this section here uh, gives you the firmware version. So I've got the latest version at the moment. You can click that by upgrading it. It automatically upgrades, actually, when you when you plug it in. Or you can put older versions in if you want. Now, if you to, if you to click on configuration here, it's just your system config configuration what it'll do the type of model you're using the battery you're using you need to input that in here so you can you know you've got a choice here of um, either lipo or, or, or nickel metal hydride or nica which nobody uses anyway so you just put the relevant battery in also you put the amount of cells that you're using as well so i'm using nickel metal hydride and it's a six cell battery i'm using you can turn on and off the low voltage um, I've got it on, which is I'd rather have anyway. So you've got your alarm threshold there. Uh, mine's set to six volts, which is default setting, and also you can adjust your volume. So once you've adjusted all that, just click save in the corner here, and it saves that setting. Okay, we'll come back into this section here. <clears throat> um, now, like I said, these are your sound modules. Sorry, your sound files here. So you click on the little icon there, the little spanner icon. This is your con configuration for each sound file that you've got in. So, you know, when you first load it up, it's, you've got your default one there, but I've changed this one here to, to the default setting. So we'll click on the spanner. My internet's a little slow. So what you get now, you get your, um, your sound components for that particular sound file. So you've got your, your engine sound. Now mine's the the NO2 240 RS Rally, KR85. Um, you've got your, your brake sound, which I've I've turned off. I've deleted it. I don't like it. Um, you've got your turbo sound. That's that that's whooshing that you hear. And then you've got your horn if you need it. So what you do if you can cl click on these icons here, you can hear the sound. So you can change it by using these, or you can just delete it and put a different one in. Um, then obviously you, you go to your engine. These are your components for your engine, um, or the configuration for it. So you can turn your idle on and off, set your idle delay. Um, at a rev limiter, you can turn that on, um, set that for delay. Uh, your engine response time. I've left all these at default setting. And the shifting, the gear shifting, you can have that as well. And if you go to your brake, 
these are all your configurations for your brake. You can turn your brake on and off um, and the volume for it as well. Uh, your turbo sound, you can have a turbo effect turned on and off. So it's all customizable. So we'll just come out of that. It's the same for the other one here as well. Um, you can only have two sound files in it at a time. Um, you can change all these. So we've got to the store setting. Now you've got a list of different uh, sound files now. And there's quite a lot on here. You've got cars, aircraft, boats and auxiliary, which is probably boat horns, gunfire horns and stuff like that, which I don't use, to be honest, I don't need them. I'm interested in the cars. Let's get my internet going again because it's a little slow. So it gives you all, all the different sound files here. There's quite a lot of them. Um, you can see this row, row numbers at the bottom. Gives you all different types of cars. So this is also you, you can you can set them to categories like drift, touring car, NASCAR, F1 rally, uh, rally cars, SUV, short course, trucks, uh, crawlers, tow trucks, turbocharging, brake sounds. And uh, obviously, you, if you click on any of the icons, they'll come up. These le these little green icons here, uh, where it says support. That's basically um, your module that you've got. So I've got the One Plus. And there's also the dual plus you can buy, so it's telling you that, that that file will support both those sound modules. So we'll just, let's listen to a sound. So we'll click on this one for the crawler sound. So if you like those sounds, you can just download them by clicking on the download button here. So that's basically it. So we will download one. But my internet is really slow at the moment. So once you download it, it will click install. So you can, you've got a choice now of sound 1 or sound 2. So it's going to replace the one that's already in there. Uh, so it will do replace the one I've already downloaded. Click on that square there. Click OK. And then it will write the sound file. I don't know how long this is going to take because my internet is really slow. We're at fifty three per cent. Oh, by the way, while this is uploading or downloading, I should say, um, I bought this uh, module from Banggood. Um, I got it within nine days. Um, free postage and packing it costs about forty nine pound fifty pound. Uh, so I think it's, it's well worth it. Okay, now it's finished, so we'll just close on that there. So there it is, it's already loaded onto the sound module, so we can uh, configure that. It's a little corrupted now because my internet's really slow. There we go. So there's our, our crawl, um, there's our crawler sound. You can change that break if I want to break and the turbo. And the horn, so let's just see the turbo. So that's the turbo sound for that particular sound module. So that's basically it. Um, I'm going to wrap this video up now. If, you, uh, if you've got any um, questions, just let us know in the comments below and I'll, I'll try and answer them. Okay, thanks for watching. See you later.